Small Shark Labs Browser, or SL Browser for short, is my attempt to create a modern web-based code browser for the Seaside web framework, modern both in design and functionality. Writing this is mainly a learning exercise for me as I am completely new to Smalltalk, but hopefully it will be useful to you and will make working with Seaside easier, more productive and above all fun. The code browser that comes with Seaside isn't bad, but it lacks in functionality. The biggest difference in SL Browser is that everything is done through Ajax, which makes it feel more like a desktop application than a website. It also boosts some neat features in addition to those you'd find in Seaside's original browser. The most prominent of these are the search fields you can see at the top of the packages, classes, categories and methods lists. Those search fields let you filter these lists and they do the filtering while you type. They also support regular expression syntax, which makes the search very powerful. If you want to search for something that starts with an S, you write head followed by S. If you want to see everything that ends with test, you write test followed by the dollar sign. SL Browser works pretty much like the Squeak or Faro Browser or the browser that comes with Seaside. To create a new method, you navigate to the package and then the class you want to add a method to. Depending on what type of method is selected, instance or class, you will create a method of that type. Replace the blueprint code with your method and as you can see, as soon as you change the code in the text area, there are two buttons sliding out, accept and cancel. Click on accept and you can see the new method in the methods list. Creating classes works the same way. Select a class you want to subclass or just select a package, replace the blueprint code and hit accept. Editing a method is just as easy. Again, as soon as you change the code, the accept and cancel buttons slide out. You can always click on cancel to get back to the original version of the method. Above the text area there are two tabs, code and help. Code is already selected so it won't do anything if you click on it. If you click on help you will see the documentation for the currently selected class in the text area. This is only the first version of SL Browser and there are many more features planned for the next release. Check out the readme if you want to know what's planned. I hope to turn this into a full-fledged Seaside development environment that lets you develop your website or web application completely from within your web browser from start to finish. SL Browser doesn't change any system classes and doesn't replace the browser that comes with Seaside. So you can try it out and if you don't like it, remove it completely by just deleting the package. Installing SL Browser is just as easy as deleting it, so there really is no reason not to try it out. Just drag and drop the .st file onto the Faro or Squeak desktop and click on File in Entire File. The browser is then already running at localhost 8080 slash browser. 